Hey, this is an explanation of our uh, type two binary nomenclature practice number one sheet. Uh, it's problem number two. So we have two elements here, F, E, B, R. And if we know what they stand for, F, E stands for iron and B, R stands for bromine. Uh, remember type two, we don't know what the charge of the metal is, okay, uh, until we kind of figure it out. So we have to figure out, kind of go backwards from the bromine. So, uh, we always take a, like to take a look at this page right here, and we can see that bromine is right here. It's a negative one, but iron is over here. Okay, don't know where exactly it is. I mean, I can pull this up and say, okay, iron is right there. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five over from that. If I go back to this, one, two, three, four, five, it's right in the middle here. So there's iron. This blue, remember, if the metal is in blue, it's a type two uh, <clears throat> binary or ionic compound. So uh, type two just means that we don't know what the charge is off the bat. So let's go back to the question. So we know what the bromine is. If we remember what that, back from uh, that sheet, it was a negative one. So if that's a negative one, we have three bromines. So my total charge for bromine is gonna be negative three. Now, how did I get this? A negative one times three Okay, is a negative three. That means that my charge for the iron has to be a plus three. Because again, these are equal but opposite. And they have to be that way in order to be balanced or stable. So once they are balanced there, they're stable. And now we can go ahead and do this. I don't have a subscript here, but because of that, that refers again back to one. So I have one iron. And if that I have one iron, that means that that one iron has to be plus three. Or I could say three divided by one equals a plus three. So I'm going to put a plus three up there. Okay. And so that is the charge for iron. So the charge for bromine is negative one. Charge for iron is three. So when we write the name out of a <clears throat> type two ionic compound, ionic compound, we have to put the charge of the metal in, in Roman numerals. So we're just going to say that it is iron, and then we got to put Roman numerals, three. That is the Roman numeral for three. And then we're going to put bromine. Remember, we always change the ending of it to ide, so it'll be bromide. And there is our answer for that type. Remember, the shortcut was this. If this subscript right here, which is one, equals the charge of the uh, nonmetal, then whatever the charge, whatever the subscript of the non-metal is becomes the charge of the metal. And metals are always plus and non-metals are always negative. So that's our shortcut, that reverse cross cut, uh, crisscross. Ho again, hopefully that helped you out. And uh, if you have more questions, <coughs> just look at the videos that we have for the other problems. So again, good luck with the rest of them. Hopefully this helped you out.